I will pull the keys from the box, revealing whom each juror chose to win Big Brother. And you need at least four votes to win. Here we go. Brendan has cast his vote for Rachel. Like we didn't see that coming on the Crosstown bus. Suck up. Danielle has cast her vote for Portia. Shocker! I hope you get hairballs from all the kittens you snack on. Jeff's vote goes to Rachel. Good Jeff. I hope I'm making an honest woman out of Jordan. Shelly has cast her vote for Portia. Rachel. What? Shelly voted for my woman? Maybe there's hope for her after all. We have three votes for Rachel, one vote for Portia. Kalia's vote goes to Portia. Yeah, Maybe whatever. Go back to sleeping. You. Maybe you'll dream an original thought where you aren't serving your master. Jordan's vote goes to... Congratulations! Did it. She won. My woman won. She can throw with a smile, she can wound with her eyes. She can ruin your game without telling a lie. She understands things that you don't want to see. You say she acts like a child, but she's always my woman to me. You evicted her man and then laughed while he was leaving. She voted you out, says take that now, we're even. She's smart and creative, made cards from green tea. You took a dog like a thief, but she's always my woman. to go, HR. I know, Squirrel, but I don't think I'm ready. Maybe I could stick around and be a ring bearer or something. You've done your part, HR. It's time to go. People love Rachel now. She can have a good life. People really do love my woman now, don't they? Yes, they do, HR. 
It just took some of them a little longer to come around. She's accomplished everything she set out to do when she entered the house again, and as the smallest supporter, you can be proud of that. I can, can I? Wait, that was a dick joke, wasn't it? No, it wasn't, HR. Now come on, it's time to go. So what's this place like? You like it there, HR. There's lots of cheese. Cheese is good. Oh, I should go tell Brenda I'm giving up my claim on my woman. I'm sure he'll figure it out, HR. Besides, I think you'll always have a little piece of your woman's heart. You really think she'll be okay, Squirrel? She'll be fine, HR. She'll be fine. And that prize goes to... Why does the house have a T-Bow remote strapped to his back? And isn't he dead? Sweet Angel Michelle got some of her geeked out science genius friends together and they regarded me up into this neurotechnotronics gizmo thingy they invented. This is just the prototype, but it works great! Me to you, elf! Oh. What? Somebody needed to put the poor boy out of his misery. Well, I guess we better try and fix this. Go get me some jumper cables and we'll see if we can jumpstart this neurotechnotronics implant and bring them back to life. Do something, Glenn, he's dying! Chip, I've done everything I can do! Did you try putting a new battery in his neurotechnotronics implant? Of course I did! Did you reset his Wi-Fi connection? You know he can't send us videos without a Wi-Fi connection! Chip, I don't think the problem's with his neurotechnotronics implant. I think your uncle's just plain worn out. What do you mean worn out? All he's done for the past 15 months is lay down like a lump. That gizmo in his head has his little brain working overtime. I don't think Michelle and his science geek friends took that into account when they built it. He was working fine before you bumped him on the head. Not exactly my finest moment. I'm really gonna miss my Uncle HR. I'm gonna miss him too, Chip. So what do we do now? Have you seen Cultivating the Critters on YouTube? No. You'll love it, Chip. There's this rabbit that sounds just like you. I bet my Uncle HR would have loved it too. I'm sure he would have, Chip. Moonlight to be a far forgotten soul. I don't know what they do. Don't know where such souls go.